super. Oh, it uses dragon eyes, but that's why you said that. Okay. Cool. I should put a secondary thing on it, I guess. I'm seeing a lot of things immune to fire. So let's do something other than fire. Uh, corrode, I guess. You know what, hey, while then. I'm thinking about that, let me see your bow again. Mm, shocking. Why not? Sure. Okay. Golden Celery. This leather pack, its belongings washed down the current of the river, gleams like wet rock. This whole little environment that I'm in right now reminds me of some spots in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh my! Rain blights. Water elementals. Alright, let's do the connected defenses. This isn't working! Yes, it is. Good morning. And let's do time parasite. Oh. Nice, got five of them, I think. That's such a great spell. She's got tank level defenses. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Very nice. No problem. No problem. Uh, it's a boot. Deer cap. Quickly and quietly. More golden celery, I presume. Poor man. Another life lost Beneath the a raging waterfall, the corpse of an elven Galanfathen hunter lies shattered against the rocks. Broken bones protrude through its skin, but you also notice a deep parallel cuts in its rotting flesh. The slashes trace almost every part of the body as if it had been ravaged by a dozen blades. The man probably died before his fall from the cliffs above. You touch the dead elf's forehead, droplets of water glistening down its purple surface, and feel a sudden jolt from the hunter's lingering essence. The world around you fades away. You're walking among the underbrush without making a sound. Moonlight catches sight of your arms, shining them pale, but you quickly dart again into the shadow of the giant trees of the North Weald. Your blood brother is not so deft as you expected. Look at him, frail, unaware. He doesn't deserve to share the glory of this hunt. It's been countless seasons since a stale guard like this one, twice the size of its lesser kin, has roamed the forest near Twin Elms. Arthwin fell for the trick. You almost feel pity for him, but you've convinced yourself he'd only get in the way once the killing begins. He'll be safer by the river, expecting that we'll flank the Stilgar when it comes out to drink. But this kill will be only yours. The Stilgar is larger than you imagined. It stands without fear atop the waterfall's ridge, its silhouette cutting a monstrous hole against the mantle of the night sky. A beast of legend. A true hunter. Your right hand tightens around the shaft of your father's spear. The weight feels balanced, just right, as you prepare the throw. You put everything into it. The spear flies true and hits its mark. The stale guard didn't even hear a sound. Its blood spills bright on the rocks, yet it stands unfazed. The beast pounces. Moonlight. <laughs> he hit it with a spear. He's like, yeah! Things like, I don't give a fuck. The beast pounces. Moonlight shines over its great fangs. Your hands draw your blades without a second thought as you lunge forward to meet this monster. It's fast. It's ripping your flesh apart. You stab at the darkness engulfing you deep again and again, but there's no slowing its embrace. I guess you should have let your bro help you hunt, or maybe you shouldn't have hunted that thing at all. Obviously, someone said to you to grow a beard or something while I was gone. <laughs> you know, I did. I shaved it this morning, DJ. It's good to see you again. Some people do no shave November, some people do no fap November, other people don't do either. You know, it's, it's whatever works for you. <laughs> Alright. I think we're done with this zone. 
Guys, I think we're ready for the for the the climax, the finale. I mean, there's a few small side quests that I've I've missed some of. Most of these are for the side characters. I'm not really sure what did uh I I I tried to do this one. I could not find this thing. I could Google it, but I, I don't feel like googling it. Um, ba -ba -ba. hey, here we go. Oh, I was supposed to talk to Grieving Mother. I thought this was just going to pop up like Kana's thing. Whoops. All right. I'm sure no shave makes no fap easier. <laughs> it gets funnier the more you think about it. <laughs> did you guys hear... No boundaries, no viffer. I did everything I wanted. <laughs> DJ's like, yeah, I'm using the I'm using the computer in prison. I've only got an hour. <laughs> no boundaries. <laughs> there was that that whole meme going around about destroy your D December, and it's like on each day you do that many faps. Like December tenth, you do ten faps, and so on and so on. And people were like, I don't know if you could survive that. And then, like, the day after that floated around, there was that guy uh, in the news who died because he attempted to this fap place. 45 it's times. And, like, he had a heart attack on the 45th time. His body just died. It was almost unexplainable. I say heart attack. It wasn't even a heart attack. His body just died. No one's even really sure. Like, they were trying to figure out what happened. But <laughs> after that, people on, like, there was these screenshots of people on 4chan like, All right, guys, you heard it here. The limit is 44. <laughs> Stop at 44 and you're good. He died for us. Oh, another escort quest. Send escort. <laughs> Destroy your D December is safe. All right. Camp. Uh, get more might. Okay, we got supplies, we're camped, we've really done all the side quests I care about. Let's go to the finale. What time is it, 613? Alright, I'm gonna load to Burial Isle, I'm gonna run to the bathroom while it loads, I will be right back. Alright. So this is... Troubled spirits around us. Burial Isle. Which somewhere Shall in it I has a huge years. pit that they described it like the This is Sparta pit. And I when I was a it leads to the finale. And the missionaries came and told us about the gods. They said we could see them in the stars. I remember when I heard that. I snuck out at night and climbed the watchtower in the old fort because I wanted to see them better. That fort burned down a few years ago, when we cast the missionaries out. It was the missionaries who set fire to it. They didn't want us to be able to use it. Shame. There was history in that fort. They'll do a lot worse if they return. The missionaries are all inquisitors now. Strange to think they're the same people underneath, but I suppose you would know. You called this place home once. Do you worry about it? Uh, our being here puts Cre so I'm I'm living someone else's memories. It doesn't really matter what I click. We're putting Creatum at risk. I wish I could say I thought otherwise, but hearing someone else say it helps settle some things in my mind. 
I miscalculated many I things. I miscalculated many things since this Okay, began. your line, your line. I'm relieved you weren't one of them. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't hang you. Jesus. I always knew, I this, always path. knew this path would have consequences. <laughs> but I never wanted to see Kratum suffer on my behalf. I don't think I can stay here any longer. I am told the Inquisition is gathering an army. That they have sent messengers to bargain with rulers from distant lands. Kratum is not built to withstand a siege. If war is coming, I should be doing what Theos is doing. I will need allies. Allies and a stronghold that can resist an invading army. You feel words formed long ago rising in your throat like toxic black bile. Have you thought about Osionis? Osionis? They have held off many would-be invaders, and their king has no love of the Inquisition's faith. I wonder, would he listen? It says the words rose like black bile. Is this like conditioning kicking in? Because this is like we're watching through the eyes of a converted spy. I wonder like, if he, against his will, Don't caused that woman's an death and then... Yeah, I don't know. That's the thought, though. Oh, mini ghosts. That defense web is awesome. It's like lightning hits someone, it checks the highest lightning resist in the party. Fire hits someone, it sees who has the highest fire resist in the party. Metal hits someone, it looks at the tank's armor. It's Got it. very cool. And, and it's like 30 or 40 seconds long. That's awesome. Easy does it. Oh, you know, I suppose I never... Shoot. Hmm, am I close to hitting level 16? No, not really, we're like halfway. I didn't turn in three bounties, and I didn't turn in, like, we killed that dragon. That was for a quest. Uh, I, I didn't turn that in, so I've got four quests I didn't turn in. Oh, I feel bad about that, we just stole gold from a burial pyre. Let's continue scoping out this place, though. Thing is, if we're near the end of the game, I don't know if and it would behoove me here? to uh, go and do stuff for XP. And as far as money goes, we've got like Scrooge McDuck money. We're we have really no need of coin. To whispers and shadows. Are those lights supposed to be memories that are hitting me? Your three levels over where you're supposed to be, it'll be fine. But you can't know that for certain! What is this? Last Blade of the White Forge. Huh. That name holds a little more meaning now since I actually know what the White Forge is because the DLC. I shall listen for I'm guessing people that got that before the DLC were like, okay, made up name. Oh my. I'm just going for kind of turtling while killing stuff to take as little damage as possible to uh, conserve so, uh, healing supplies. She's like covered in maggots or something. That's a fun spell. Got it. Uh, what is this? You venture through a doorway into an underground tunnel. A staircase coils upwards, leading to a dim passage. On the upper level, light filters through the collapsed ceiling. A wall of piled stones and rubble blocks the way ahead. Perception. 
to your observant eye. Mm. <laughs> Tell us what your eyes see. The mass looks dangerously unstable. The rocks appear to have held together through sheer chance. Moving even one could send the rest tumbling. Uh... Try a pry bar. This, I might regret this. You wedge your pry bar against a large stone and put all your weight into it. Your efforts dislodge the boulder and it rolls free with a heavy groan. Other slabs and chunks of debris begin to break away. The massive pile creaks and rumbles, threatening to lose a thousand pounds of stone around you. As the debris tumbles down, you lunge through the narrowing gap. However, Lens isn't fast enough and disappears behind the falling rock. No! Lens emerges from a cloud of dust, hunched over and cradling tender ribs. Light breaks... Dude, what is that check? Is that at survival or athletics? Because Lens is always the only one injured when these things happen. Light breaks into the tunnel up ahead, growing brighter as you continue. Soon the passage ends, opening up high enough on the cliffside of the burial aisle. Silence surrounds me. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, bruised ribs, minus four constitution. This isn't how I usually work. Dude, we're just playing our mixtape here and everything's Where burning to death. Love that bar song. Many dead ghosts. Also, Zurin, if you, you you were wasn't it you that was telling me I need to go try to fight those other dragons again that I couldn't kill? And watch me flounder. I haven't done that, so I might have to make like a hard save file before we go in there. Oh my gosh, people dying. Don't wuss out. <laughs> Did that hit him? Uh, yeah, he's in it. Okay. That? My mind feels sharp as steel. Let's say three might. Okay. Oh, shoot. Spot on. My mind feels sharp as steel. That's one way of doing it. Unload artillery at him. Quickly and quiet. Welcome back, Ray Draw. We're doing good. We're doing good. I think, uh, well, not I think. Uh, according to Zurin here, we are near the end of Pillars of Eternity 1, so we might be hitting the finale here in short order. At some point within the hour, I'm going to have to go microwave my meal-prepped fancy dinner and run back in here real quick. My thoughts will be as silent as gotta, my gotta prepare a meal for those 12-hour streams. Another turn, Inquisitor. Oh, is this when she's on the rack? I ask again, Yovara Ixensios, do you confess to these heresies of which you stand accused? Do you confess to apostasy? I confess to renouncing a mistake. Do you confess to conspiracy against the one true faith? I confess to opening minds. Do you confess to false prophecy? I confess to following a false prophet. Damn. Indeed. And where might we find this heretic? He wears the robes of a grand inquisitor. <laughs> 
Get him, girl. You have no followers here, heretic. Your lies hold no sway in the court of the penitents. What did you say your relationship with Ayavara was? I don't know. I'm just like seeing images of what he did to this woman in the past. Only my truth then. Another turn. <laughs> no. Wait. Wait. I'm ready. I'm ready. You are ready to give a confession? I am ready to hear one from you. Oh my god! He shakes his head and points at the Inquisitor, and the scraping grind of rusted gears echoes in your mind as the apparitions fade away. Alright. Exiled Queen. Let's hope that grim countenance bodes All right. well. Pre pit. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go for the finale, and then when I have time off stream, I might load this save file pre pit and try out those dragons. If I can beat them, I'll I'll throw a screenshot on the Discord. <laughs> a great pit lies in the shadow of the statue of Wodica. No light from the surface reaches the bottom, but even so, you catch flickers of a ghostly glow in the depths. A wind from the pit buffets you. It isn't cold, but it raises goose flesh along your arms. The wind carries a whisper low and sibilant. As you look into the pit, souls gather around you. They encase you in a cloud of essence that swirls around your body while you consider your next move. JUMP! Loading. You jump, trusting in the promises of the gods and the power of the souls to bear you safely down. Like, here's me jumping, <laughs> and here's Bleak, like, are you sure? The sudden drop takes your breath away, but the souls catch you, encasing you in a shining, thrumming aura. But while they slow your descent, you can still feel what you, that you are falling faster than you should. The essence flowing around you is strong but chaotic. You find yourself drifting toward the wall. Nearby, Kana drifts downward at a rapid pace, carried by another glowing stream of souls. Ah, why did I ever agree to this? Kana flails outward briefly and then steadies, holding his arms out for balance. It's hard to keep... Makluk, look out! The wall! Resolve. Take control of the souls to guide yourself to safety. <laughs> Concentrating, you focus on the essence around you and knit it together in your mind. I'm flying through sheer force of anger alone. What was a jumble of souls becomes a single entity, coordinated and purposeful. It steers you to safety at the center of the pit. You manage to spread your arms and legs into an X, steadying your position and the rate of your descent. You reach the court of the penitents, millennia old stones, safely under your feet. Ah, uh, standard. Oh, I just got the achievement for completed Act 3. So... Is Act 4 super short, Zorin? You said it was just like this one dungeon. And I... I don't remember. Uh, I vaguely remember what you're talking about, and I just thought it was some minor thing, and I don't remember. After what seems like an eternity, your rapid descent comes to an abrupt end. You remain still for a moment while your heart settles and your eyes adjust, breathing in stale, forgotten air. Before you, a narrow and eroded walkway becomes faintly visible in the dim light, cutting a winding path through a cavern so expansive it seems a world unto itself. In the distance, you can make out the cold gleam of living Audra veins that spike and fork in and out of view from the murky depths beneath. Their glow a faint and fleeting guide along the ancient trail. You look above at the opening you jumped through, now barely a speck of light like some distant star alone in the cosmos and forever out of reach. Your only way lies ahead. That okay. Huh? Eh? My thoughts will be as silent as A lot of bones in here. A lot of people tried that jump before. Or got shoved. All right, there's camping supplies here at the entrance. 
There's another camping supplies, so if I need them. Alright. There's something you don't see every day. Let's get spooky. A millennium's worth of dust fills in the cra cracks and crevices of this skeletal relief. There's a bug. Isn't this something? I see you! <laughs> you alright, buddy? Oh. Okay. They shall see nothing while I see much. The pillar tugs at your essence, a pulse from the world itself moves through it. Oh, Adra Animats. He's not in the mind web. He needs to be in the mind web. Interesting. So when I cast the mind web, it's just constantly emanating from her, and people can move into and out of it. It doesn't just latch onto them like a buff. It's like a, an aura around her. So much for you. All right. That wasn't too bad. Pretty easy. Your thoughts must flow deeply, indeed. Sure. Let's see what lies this way. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Here Great. we go. spot. She does not have enough focus to cast the mind web. You know, they're taking pretty minor damage. It's not too bad. There we go. Now we're all tanks. Alright, Audra Adamant's down. The ancient Audra still bears the impression of a thousand souls broken upon it. Your soul burns with remembered suffering. Got it. And what do we have here? Daybreak. Unique two-handed morning star. Plus one to enemies engaged? What? Why would you want to be able to tank more? Is there like a, a build in this game where you tank without a shield? Enemy, so to anyone who might not know, enemies engaged is basically how many things you can have aggro of. Sharp eyes and keen ears. I'm not sure why you'd want that you if you're not something. using a shield. I'm trying to be very careful not to step on those traps in the middle of this fight. What did I tell you? Okay. What's the size of this floor? Uh, maybe it's got multiple floors, because this floor is pretty small. They won't see me coming. Hmm. Ah! Cutscene. Yavara. A column of Audra rises above you, stoic and silent, its ridge layers a measuring stick for the passing of ages. It feels to you as a thick block of ice, and you perceive buried deep in its core a dim, flickering flame all but extinguished, yet preserved against the ravages of the elements. As you approach, the flame seems to steady and draw strength, and the layers separating it from you melt away, and you are bathed in its glow, a bright beacon in the gloom. 
The glow seems to fade as though you had adjusted to its intensity, and where it was, Iavara seeps into existence, an idolic shade hovering above the moist prison floor. Though ageless, she appears somehow different to you now, a slight stoop to her carriage perhaps.